So now that you know how to write equations of lines, we're going to extend that skill to parallel lines. So if you take a look at all the images here, these are examples of parallel lines where they are running in the same direction. So you notice um, as one line moves, the other line follows. And in that instance, our parallel lines, we say, have the same slope. So for example, in the first picture, the purple line is moving in a negative slope as well as the blue line. In the middle picture, both lines have a slope of zero, being horizontal lines. And in the third and final picture, you can see they've actually mapped out a slope of up two and over one for each line. We can also look at the equation that they've provided. If I zoom in a little bit here, you'll be able to see that equation. Uh, notice their slopes are the same. Notice in front of the x, both of them have a slope of two. So the big takeaway is that parallel lines are going to have the same slope. So our task today is to write the equation of parallel lines. So in this first example, they are asking us to write an equation for a line that is parallel to this y equals 2x plus 7 line, and we're going to pass through the point 1 comma 5. So the first thing that I've highlighted is the word parallel, and remember that is the same slope. So I'm going to highlight or pick out the slope of this line. Okay, so my slope is 2. And then my x, y coordinate here I'm going to use is 1 comma 5. So I'll go ahead and label that as x sub 1, y sub 1. Now because I have a point and the slope is 2, I'm going to use that point slope. I'm going to start off with my point slope form. And remember that's y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we should have the values to plug in our slope in for m. And we're going to use the x1 and y1. OK, so let's give that a go. We're going to start off with the y minus. And I'm going to pull that y sub 1 number, which is 5. Okay, that's equal to, I'm going to bring that slope in of 2, and we're going to multiply that by the quantity x minus, and I'm going to bring that x sub 1 number in from the coordinate, which is 1. Now we've been writing our equations in slope-intercept form for a final answer, so I'm going to do a little bit of work here to hopefully go ahead and convert into that slope-intercept. So I'm going to need to start off by distributing my slope of 2 into the x minus 1. So I'm going to wind up with y minus 5 equals 2x minus 2. And then I'm going to add 5 to both sides. So my final slope intercept equation is going to be y equals 2x plus 3. So if we were to graph this line y equals 2x plus 3, and we graphed that other line in the original problem, y equals 2x plus 7, we would notice that they are parallel and running in the same direction. Now we have one more example today, and it looks like they've given us similar information. They want us to write the equation of a line that is parallel to the equation y equals negative 1 half x plus 16 and is passing through the point negative 8, 0. So using that idea today, key idea that parallel lines have the same slope, I can go ahead and identify the slope of this line. 
So right in front of the x, I see that negative 1 half. So that means our line is going to have a slope of negative 1 half. And our line also passes through this point, negative 8, 0. So that's going to be important. I'm going to label that x sub 1, y sub 1. So that will help me put everything together in a point slope form. Now if I take our given information and plug it into the appropriate spots in the formula, I'm going to have y minus that y sub 1 number is 0 for this example. And we're going to have that equal to our slope, which is a negative 1 half. And bring in your parentheses for the quantity x minus our x sub 1 is a negative 8. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of converting. Remember, we want a final answer in that slope intercept form. That's going to be our goal. Okay, so I notice a couple things. Um, first of all, I have a double negative scenario inside the parentheses. So instead of x minus a negative 8, I'm going to write that as x plus 8. So now we need to distribute that negative 1 half to both the x and the positive 8. And on the left side, you notice you have a y minus 0. It's okay to just write that as y equals. And now we're going to distribute the negative 1 half to the x for negative 1 half x. And negative 1 half times 8 is a negative 4. So our slope intercept form for our equation is y equals negative 1 half x minus 4. And again, that should be parallel to our other equation in the problem, y equals negative 1 half x plus 16.